It's gotta be good, feel good to get me back in the winter circle, huh? <laughs> yeah, it definitely does. It was a, a long, arduous year last year, and um, I just, you know, I kept my head up and kept training hard. And, and obviously it's really early, but I think this is a good indicator of um, hopefully my season and success to come. Three times there. Figure this course out? Yeah, I think so. You know, I, I try not to think, I was just telling my coach, it, you don't want to think, oh, it's going to be like last year or the last time I won, because you just never know how the race is going to play out. But it really, as soon as I was in the lead, I just I felt comfortable there, and I knew how to take those corners. And it's a, if it's a slow race, it's a hard race not to be in the front. You have to do a lot of work, so it was fortunate. How do you mentally prepare for a race like this? You know, the, these races are fun. When they're road races, you know, you're not really worried about the time, and there's all these corners. So these races, you know, it's really about just enjoying the experience and getting back to the community. You know, a lot, I know a lot of people are racing the marathon and they're focused on that. But for them to stop and watch and cheer us on, you know, it means a lot. What about the marathon itself for you? You know, this is actually going to be the first year that I'm here to watch the marathon. I've always taken off after the race and I live right in Cleveland Circle. So I'll be able to pop outside my door and hopefully cheer everybody on. Now that you're living here, did you have a few more fans? Have you made any friends yet in Boston? Yeah, you know, some of my teammates. I, you know, I hear of maybe a few more people know my name. And, you know, I took the tea from my house this morning and I was all dressed in my uniform. So it's kind of fun just to be able to <laughs> take the tea up to the race. Like, that was pretty special. How is the course, the weather? Oh, it's beautiful. Yeah, you can see the sunshine out here. And with Boston this time of year, you never know what you're going to get. So uh, I think everyone's fortunate. It looks like the whole weekend's going to be nice. With the winter training you've had, here, this must be a real bonus. Yeah, and actually, you know, I think I got a nice tan going because I was in Florida for three weeks. Like, tell on the support and resilience of the people um, of Boston and just the country in general. It's going to be a really special day, I think. Morgan, you've had a good early season, Pepsi Relays win now here. <laughs> you know, what can we expect to uh, you know, it's just I'm going to keep training hard and just trying to do my best. Um, obviously, it's really easy. I know like a lot of women haven't started racing yet, but for me, it's just about you know just connecting all the dots. And I think these are the little, these early races for me really help to set up my um, future races. So you know, I'm going to Shanghai for the first time this year, Diamond League race, and that'll be my first really big one. So we're just getting ready for that. You moved to Boston in December? I did in mid-December, yeah. The best time <laughs> to come. Thank so you. what's your next race? Uh, Drake Relay is next Friday. And are you going to be on the U.S. 4x1500 team, or do you know? I'm, uh, I'm in the pool for the 4x15 and hopefully the 4x8. I'd love to run the 4x8, but really if I can get on any, on any of the relays, who does not want to go to the Bahamas? <laughs> I would like to be there.